So continuing with our uh, series of uh, Newton's laws of motion, today we will do some more problems related to pulleys. Uh, yes. So the, the problems uh, which I brought for you are more, more than one pulleys for more than one pulleys. How to solve the problems with her. So the number one problem is like this. Suppose a block So this is our uh, system having masses M1 and M2 and there are two pulleys as shown in the figure. The masses are connected by two pulleys as shown in the figure. Now we have to find the equation of motion and solve the uh, problem. So, uh, suppose this, uh, this pulley, since this pulley is fixed, and this is moving, this all these are moving. So we'll, first of all we will do the measure the distance from this point. Let the distance of this is say x1 and from this this is say x2. So the total length of the string is x1 plus x2 plus x2. So x1 plus x2 plus x2 is the total length of the string which is fixed. This length of the string is fixed. So since this is moving and this is moving the length, these two x1 and x2 will vary with time. So if you differentiate with this, these two, so this will become x plus 2x2 is equal to L. Differentiate with respect to time. You will get dx1 by d, d uh, simply we can write it as d of okay, dx1 by dt plus 2, 2 dx2 by dt, which is and this is constant, so differentiation with respect to time will be 0. And this gives you the velocity v1 plus 2. Uh, you can take velocities, uh, you can take these, these lengths or uh, this separation as a vector also or scalar also. And if you differentiate it again, you will get acceleration. It will accelerate. Okay, two. This is the It means uh, acceleration of this part, M1 is equal to 2 times the acceleration of this. Now, to solve now the equation of motion. So, uh, in this problem we are considering the, the string to be massless and the ropes to be smooth and massless. Uh, the, uh, the pulleys are also smooth and massless and the string is massless. So, the tension in the string will transfer from this to this end without any loss, assuming the pulleys are and ropes are massless and smooth. So here, uh, this uh, mass undergoes gravitation pull downward. So m two g minus two t gives you the acceleration downward. So m two g minus two t is equal to m2 and the acceleration of 
of this block. And here, this block is acted upon by only one force, that is tension. There is no assuming we are not assuming friction in this case. So if there is no friction, T will produce an acceleration M1, A1. Now we have here <coughs> three unknowns, A1, A2, T. And we have ordered two equations. The third equation is here. That is, there is a relation between A1 and A2 is given. So the third relation is that A1 is equal to 2A2 in magnitude. Uh, this, 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 zero. It means if you take the direction, this will go the right hand side with minus sign that is the acceleration of this and this is opposite. If this this <coughs> this is down, this is so if in here we are only taking the magnitudes. So if you solve this, you can solve this equation by substituting the values a a one is here two a two. I multiply by 2 and add these two equations to cancel out and we can solve these equations. So for the next uh, problem, uh, we have, suppose the, the next problem is like this. Okay, should I write this? This is problem number 2. <coughs> this is our system. Two blocks M1 and 2 are hanging by two uh, as shown by two pulleys and there is a one string which connects both. So this is the total length of the string. So if you assume, suppose this is the fixed point and we assume that is uh, this distance is say x naught. So, and this, from this shilling, this is x1, and from this shilling, this is x2. So, uh, the length x1 minus x0, this is the length, and this is also x1 minus x0, and this is x2 minus x0. So, this length. Uh, is constant. So we can write as x1 minus x0. This one this is the whole length. It divides, subtract from here. This is the axis of this. So this is x1 minus x0. This is x1 minus x0 plus x1 minus x0 plus this length x2 minus x0 and this is the total length of the string which remains constant so let the total length of the string is L so this can be as 2x1 plus x2 is equal to x minus L minus 2x0, which is again a constant. Because this length is fixed, constant x0. And the total length is also so, uh, the length of the string is also constant. So this is side is constant. If you shade this, you will get 2 times v1 plus v2 is equal to 0 
again with respect to time you get 2a1 plus a2 is 0. Means the acceleration of this time, this m1, and this is related if this is the acceleration a1 of mass m1, this is the acceleration of m2. These are mentioned by this equation 2a1 is equal to a2. Now if you again tension here, tension will transfer without any loss, assuming the string to be massless and pulleys to be smooth. So this is the gravity acts downward. So m1 g minus t, if, if we are assuming this to be falling down and this to be moving up, so this tension in mass m1 g is greater than t, so the acceleration goes you know. So it is m1 g minus t is equal to m1 of acceleration of mass t1. Now here it's again t t this one is moving so uh, you can write suppose uh, two t is take it take it to so it is two t minus m two g so the m two g acts and two t acts up it's equal to m two again here we have three unknowns tension in the string and a1 and a2 and two equations of motion but there is a one equation which we have already found the relation between a1 and a2 is given so we substitute the values of a1 and a2 so we have three unknowns and three uh, equations so this can be easily found out so you can find the acceleration of the m1 and m2 as well as the tension in the string so, now so the third problem This is our uh, problem. And uh, using the our same principle that measuring the length from a fixed point, this is a fixed point. Suppose the length of the distance of this mass from the fixed point is say x1 and from this, this the length of distance of m2 from this point is say x2. So, uh, this is x1 plus x2, this again x1 plus x2 and this is x2. 
So the total length of the string is x1 plus x2 plus x1 plus x2 plus x2. So x1 plus x2 two times plus x2 is equal to the total length of the string. And this is the x1 plus x2. Uh, you can take this uh, assuming this to be x1 plus x2. So, so this is the fixed length and again differentiate it so it is 2x1 plus 3x2 is 0 so now uh, in this way if you do differentiate with respect to time you will get the velocities of m, m1 and m2 and the acceleration so it will different, first differentiating with respect to time you will get 2v1 plus 3v2 is 0 again differentiating with respect to time is 2a1 plus 3a2 if you take the vector form of this it means the acceleration of m1 is opposite to the direction of a2, a, 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 a m2 if this moves this way this will move in this opposite direction so we have just taken, only taken the magnitude you can take the vectors also vector gives you that there is a relationship between the directions also 2a1 is equal to minus 3a2 so this is the relation between the acceleration. Now simply you can find the equations of motion, which is easier to just simply apply. So if a, the, uh, again assuming the same and uh, assuming that there is no friction uh, in, between the blocks in the surface and the pulleys are smooth, ropes are massless, tension tra transfer from this end to this end without any loss. So the tensors are same in the whole string. So <laughs> if you uh, see the uh, number of tensions acting on this block, T plus T plus T, these two T acts here plus one T here. So three T is acting on mass and so there is no friction, <coughs> there is no opposing force. So this three T tension will produce acceleration on the mass m3 so 3t is equal to m2 a2 and here we have 2, two ten t two tensions acting on mass m1 so it is 2 times t is equal to m1 a1 so with these three equations we can find the relation between the tensions and the acceleration in this case <coughs> so <coughs> we have solved three, uh, three about three problems. Now we can come to a conclusion, and the conclusion is that that conclusion is I'm writing that conclusion is that if two bodies are interconnected. If two bodies are interconnected by are interconnected by means of one continuous but in extensible string but in extensible string then the following relations hold then Similarly, n1 times v1 is equal to 
and two times v two and three times uh, sorry and one times a one equal to n two times a two a two where n one is the number of string parts connected to the body number n one where n one is the where n1 is the number of string parts So this is a general relation rule that if the one string connects the bodies, the the part the bodies are connected by one control string, then the n one, the number of times the length x one, the, the, the body x one is the distance from fixed point x one, and s two is the distance from the that fixed point for the body second body. So if n times is equal to n one times this is equal to n two times. So using this uh, relation, we can simply this becomes easier not to solve. Yes. Just count the number of parts of the string which is connected to the body and simply write that. So uh, continuing with our again, some problem we will do again here. And this suppose uh, this is uh, suppose Hmm. The problem is this one. This is problem that ten. Huh? There are three pulleys, and this is the one. Uh, suppose this is the mass M one, and this is F two. <coughs> this is only one string which connects. So the number of strings which passes. Connects M one is one two three, and the number string that connects M two is only one. So here N one which connects the mass M one is three, and M two is one. 
So we simply write that 3x1 if this is the length and that will be equal to x2, 1 times x2 or 3 times v1 is equal to v2 or 3 times a1 is equal to a2. Now you this is the relation between this acid. Now you can find the solve the equation of motion. If f is here, suppose t again assuming everything is to be frictionless and uh, strings to be massless, so needs to be smooth, no friction. So the tension can be transferred from this end to end in this end without any loss. So the trip tension transfers without any loss. Same tension. So if you, if you apply force here, this will goes up. So the acceleration here, F minus uh, T1, T is equal to M2, A2. So the equation of motion for this is already written. F minus T is equal to M2. Now here, we have three tensions acting on this block M1, but the gravity acts here M1G. So you can write the 3T minus M1G, 3T minus M1G is equal to M1. Now you have a relationship between A1 and A2, you can substitute here and find the relation between the, you can also find the how much force will be required to just lift the block, accelerate the block. Up. Now, uh, uh, I have so solved a problem like this. Suppose uh, uh, there, is a, there is no mass, that is, you are some force is required to pull. So, if there is no mass, what is the, will be the minimum force required just to stay the mass M1 as it is? So, if so the uh, I what will be the minimum force required? What is the minimum force required to just keep the mass M1 Yeah, just the mass keep the block and to hang and so without any acceleration up or down, just hang. So it means uh, you are just you in that case you are just applying some force here and assuming there is no block loss blocks here, you are just applying force here. And this force is equal to T. Here, it means here there is no mass. So this F is the tension here that will transfer here. And this 3T or 3F you can say 3T is equal to M1G. No acceleration, it's just equivalent to the, its gravity so that this hangs as it is. So the minimum force required will be T is equal to 3F, so it is 3F is equal to NG or F is equal to NG by 3. So it means uh, you can, oh sorry, this is M1. It means uh, uh, three times and the weight, less than the weight, when you divide by that weight as force. When you suppose, it means you, uh, you, you, can, you have to apply one third of the force required, uh, equivalent of its mass, of the weight, to lift this one. So this is a kind of crane system. And you, you apply this, suppose this is a 100 kilogram, 100 meter, and you have to apply only F is equal to 100 by 3. So it is uh, one third of its weight 
forces by just to lift, to, uh, to, to, to keep it hanging here. So this is a, uh, as I have told that this is a, in case of uh, uh, crane, we, we pull uh, uh, heavier mass by smaller force. How to lift a heavier mass by applying small lesser force? No. No. One more problem. Here again there is one string, one, this, the, the, the string is one, the one string which, this is number of string which connects M1, 1, 2, 3, and the number of string that connects M2 is 1 and 2. So assuming that our principle that if N1 is the number of string connected to M1 and, and, and so we can simply write N1 is here 3 and M2 is here 2. So if you take the length 3 times x1 will be equal to 2 times x2. Or 3 times V1 is equal to 2 times V2. 3 times A1 is equal to 2 times So now you can write the equation of motion also, this is not very easy. N2 acts here. This goes down and move this. The tension will be again same, assuming everything to be smooth and frictionless, springs to be massless. Now, 
last problem, honestly. And I think that this first problem will solve your, what you must get some understanding of how to solve the problems which is related to multiple police. So, there is one more problem I am solving for two days. And then, So this has this, this is our system. We have three masses, M1, M2, M3, <coughs> connected by uh, we have uh, one string is here and one string is here there. So the tension in this case will be different and there, this case will be different. There's a mass acting here. So it is suppose the tension is here is T1 and T1 is T1 and T1. Now this T1 will, will be different here because there is a mass attached here. And so that suppose this tension here is say T2. And thus, thus uh, pulleys are assumed to be massless and string to be uh, massless also strings to be to be massless and pulleys smooth. So this T2 transfers here transfers here, transfers here. So, now, uh, one string is connected to F1. So, it is simply N1 has number of string 1. And N2 is correct, uh, M2 mass M2 is connected by one string. So, it is M2 is also connected by one string. But this uh, uh, mass M3, so that's called connected by three, uh, two strings. So it is two strings here. So the acceleration of this and this will be same because uh, x1 is equal to x2 will be equal to two times uh, x3. So it is v1 is equal to v2 is equal to 2 times v3 a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 2 times a3 this even is obvious because the acceleration of this and this will be the same because if this goes by say x1 distance so it is also moved by x2 x1 and x2 will be the same but this will be different and this is written, written by that x1 and x2 is the same, but x3 is 2 times x. 2 times x3 will be equal to. Now you can write the equation of motion simply here. If you suppose this one to be moving down and this one to be moving up. You can suppose this one also is down. You suppose any one of them to be moving up and one to be another to be down. If your accelerator result comes out to be negative, it means your assumption was uh, opposite. That this, you, uh, if you has assumed this one to be accelerating down and then three to be rising up, 
but the result comes out to be negative, it means your assumption was wrong. This M1 is accelerating upward and this is going down. So assuming that this goes down, we can write M1 G minus T1 is equal to M1 A1. And this part is also moving. So T1 minus T2, T1 minus T2 is equal to M2 A2. And this here, 2 T2 acts on this, that T acts here. N3G acts downward. So 2 T2 lifts N3G upward. So 2 T2 minus N3G is equal to N3. Now we have here uh, 1 T1, T2, A1, A2, A3. So we have 3 and 2, 5. Uh, uh, um, unknowns and two we have five equations also one two three and uh, one equation is here that a one is equal to a two and a one is equal to a three so we have five equations and five uh, five unknowns and five equations <coughs> find the values of a one a two a three and t one tensions t one and t two so all this about the uh, Newton's laws of motion and the uh, problems related to the multiple pulleys. Uh, so um, as, assuming that uh, we have just we have all, almost concluded Newton's laws of motion. If there is this some problem, I will do in the next class and then we will move forward for the next sections. Okay, thank you.